we have here is a, it's a custom kitchen benchtop. Basically what we want to achieve, especially with a kitchen benchtop, is removing some of this cream in the finish. So when I make the concrete, I'll make it face down. And basically, typically a concrete cream is, it's a finish where the, the cement and the water in the concrete usually falls um, more to the face. And while it looks nice, for a kitchen solution, we want performance as well. So what I want to do is actually remove a lot of that cream, um, get down to some of the aggregates and sands in the mix. That will give us performance. So if there's um, plates slid across the surface and, and different things like that, ha going past that cream, sanding down past that cream is going to give us a more scratch resistant surface. It's also going to give us a better surface for the sealer to stick to. So I like using either a 60 or an 80. I'll use the, the eight mil orbit on the, on the heavier stuff. You can see quite obviously here now that this is the cream area. And now we're, we're getting through the cream and getting down to where we want to be. So you can imagine that the cream's quite, it's, it's quite soft in terms of, of wear. Um, so we want to get through that and get down into the more consistent um, area, area of the concrete and, and where we find the aggregates. It's a better surface to seal off. And one of the things that you struggle with with a dry sand is getting down deep enough into the, into the cream. And that's where I found with Merca, with, with the pads and, and um, with the sanders, a lot of the time what people would find with concrete and maybe with other materials is when you start going up on these 40 and 60 grits, you'll get a really um, bad scratch pattern. And what, why that's bad for me with what I do, if I get down in that scratch pattern, the grout's never exactly the same as, as the raw concrete, it cures differently. So the problem with getting that scratch pattern and what I've found over the years is with other, other sanders and other sanding discs is if you get that deep scratch pattern and pigtail through, when I come through and do my grout process, the grout falls into the scratch pattern and you'll actually, because I can't perfectly match, because it's not cured the same, I can't perfectly match my base colour. When I seal it, you'll actually slightly see where the grout's gone in to the scratch pattern. So one of the first things I really liked was that it doesn't give me the scratch pattern that I typically get in concrete anyway. But then I'm forever trying to sand and get scratches out. Where with this, as you can see what we've just done there, we've hit this area back and there's not one scratch in this, this area. I've opened up some pinholes, um, very, very small pinholes, which is always gonna happen to be expected. That's why we come through and do our grout process. If I get the pigtail swirl and then the grout gets in that, then you can see it looks like it's scratched before it comes to the end consumer. So that's a big thing that I found, like a massive advantage. I've gone through with the Galaxy 80 pad with the 8mm orbit um, for my first initial sand. Now I'm basically going to come through with a, with a 120 with the 5mm orbit um, and just come through and just do another pass, pretty much exactly the same as what we did. Um, to try and get, as you can see, there's not many scratches at all, but just keep going through those, those stages to get to the sort of the 180 grit where I want to finish for this particular piece. So essentially we've started with our 80 grit, um, gone down through that cream layer. Um, what that's done, exposed some pinholes in the surface. Um, what we do then is we make up a slurry mix or a grout mix and we'll apply that over the piece to fill these small pinholes and um, any imperfections in the piece. Um, after that, we need to then sand those grouted areas to, to keep that finish sort of coming through. So what I'll do then is um, go to my 120 again. So we've gone 80, we've gone 120, and then we've gone 180. We've opened up all those pinholes. We've gone through and do our, our grout mix. Um, and then we're gonna go back to a 120. That's what I like to do. Hit that one time with our grout and then do our 180 again. We've gone through, we do our sand. Um, this area here is now looking really good. It's, um, we've grout filled it, we've filled any little imperfections and pinholes. I've got a nice uh, filled clean surface. 
um, it'll go through its next steps now where we'll apply an acid wash um, to create an etch on the concrete um, and then we'll go through our sealing process. It'll get four coats of sealer um, and then we'll do some um, post-sealing processing. So what I, uh, I like to do after my sealing process to remove any of those dust particles or anything like that that couldn't fall and sit in the sealer while it's setting is come back with a 180 Abrolon pad. This is just going to take out any of the uh, yeah, dust particles or anything like that without wearing away the sealer that I have on the surface. I want that sealer on the surface for protection. Um, I don't want to wear it away, but I just, I'm just smoothing out that final process. You can go from your 180 right up to 2,000, 4,000. If you're looking for more of a high sheen or a gloss, you can sort of wax and, and come through these really high grits and really get that sheen. Today I'm looking for more of a satin look, so I'd probably just hit it with a 180, just smooth the surface out and um, get it ready for um, delivery. And it's just a really light pass um, going over the surface um, and I can just feel the difference from um, this is just really nice and smooth and just out where I haven't gone, there's just some very slight grit. Um, so you're just really going through the fine processes now just to, just to make it feel as good as it can under the hand for the, for the customer. And what we have here is this piece has gone through all its um, final steps. We're happy with it. Uh, it's got its final assembly um, out of the way and it'll go off to its new home um, feeling good and, and gone through all the processes.